There are many different kinds of epilepsy and seizures, and it's really important for people to understand that. Mm -hmm. Well, the important thing is to increase awareness about epilepsy because that's first and foremost uh, to get more funding, to be able to support research and to educate our community. We do a lot of community education so people know about epilepsy and what to do and if someone has a seizure, how to offer seizure first aid. <laughs> the purpose of the walk is to create awareness, to provide a platform for people to share their stories, which are so powerful. So many people with epilepsy live in hiding and don't talk about their epilepsy and the walk is a great opportunity to talk about it, to share their stories, to share their stories of loved ones and why they're walking. Uh, Josie was diagnosed with absence epilepsy when she was five years old. Yes. Uh, and we we actually think that she was probably having seizures from the time that she was four, but she's got a type of epilepsy that's called absence epilepsy. So the kids end up looking like they're zoning out. And so we didn't, we thought she was just not paying attention. It turns out she was having 200 seizures a day. What we want other parents and families and people with epilepsy to know is that we can't give up. We need to be very vocal. There's 65 million people that we know of that have epilepsy in the world. That's, we have a lot of fellow, fellow warriors in this fight. I want other kids and parents to know that it's okay to ask for help because if you don't ask for help, then you can't be helped. Well, the How to Meet the Shoe Challenge is I'm going to try to raise $250,000 between now and Thanksgiving uh, to benefit epilepsy. And I chose a shoe because it's a metaphor for people having to live with epilepsy and walking in someone else's shoes. And it was also a stunt that was done by this old filmmaker, Werner Herzog, back in 1979. Uh, he did it as a publicity stunt. And Nathan Jones from the Epilepsy Foundation came up with it. I thought it was a great idea. It's going to get people talking about epilepsy, and that's really the most important thing to me. I hope he gets to eat a shoe, because that would totally put the cherry on this experience. Um, I've been coming to this for the last three, four years. I, I bring my partner, we bring the dogs in the stroller, and um, we, we just uh, love all the people here, and, and everybody's so dedicated to um, ending epilepsy, and, and that's what I'm all about, too. Sure. So Sebastian is now 11, and he's our oldest son. Um, we also have a daughter, Alexander, who's eight. He was diagnosed when he was when he was 16 months old um, with intractable epilepsy. Um, we basically found out when he went into status, and we brought him into UCLA, and I think that kicked off our journey. Um, he he's been on a very large series of medications that never worked. We do a lot, a, a lot of therapy, um, physical, occupational, speech. Um, he's on CBD as well, um, and he has a VNS implant, a big um, nerve stimulator in the neck. So I think we're the family that just takes the shotgun approach and tries everything we can to help him. As a mom, trust your instincts. Um, get the best help you can, not just medical care, but support, uh, all kinds of therapies. Your kids can do so much more than anybody will ever know. And as parents, I think we know it in our hearts and you just have to find the keys to unlock their, their chances. So. Um, we're proud to be here. And don't be afraid to talk about it. Talk about it with friends and family, epilepsy. We hate epilepsy. We love the people, we hate the condition. If there are people out there who are just encountering epilepsy or seizures, or their child, or their friend, their family, their coworker, their spouse, go to endepilepsy.org. Get information. Information is empowering. It's not scary. Unfortunately, we've seen way too many seizures in our family. Which is very, very sad, and we don't want to see any more, hopefully. Right, but it's important to know everything you can know. So go to endepilepsy.org, go to talkaboutit.org, and find out what to do in case you see someone have a seizure. La epilepsia es un desorden neurológico que causa crisis que pueden ser o no convulsivas. Lo más importante que las personas deben saber sobre la epilepsia es 
diferenciar las diferentes clases de crisis. Los fondos que re, se recaudan en esta caminata son para ofrecer programas sociales, educativos, a, abogacía y para donar fondos para que se lleven a cabo más estudios y así poner fin a la epilepsia. He breaks for it. Different last year. I guess I was waiting. Hi. Go, Kayla. Team Kayla. <laughs> Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, spread the word about this challenge so we can see Adam eat a shoe. Yes. Adam, Audrey Cowler, thank you so much for your courage. Thank you for being here and thank you for spreading the word. We appreciate it. Thank you, David. Thank you. you, bet. you, you bet. Bet.